Hello friends, very good morning and warmest welcome from mysmartsupport.com Hey guys, in this video tutorial I am going to show you the easiest and the simplest way to backup and restore your WordPress website or a blog because uh, you know that what is it's important it's all about your hard work which you have done your on your website to make your blog to make it a brand and if you had not kept your backup then really it is be there would not be any way for you to get back your website so it is damn compulsory and damn mandatory for security reasons so let's see how to do that suppose i have a website this is my website suppose and what is it is made on wordpress and i am going to take uh, backup so first of all log into backend log in with username and password once you log in guys in wordpress this is a very special feature of wordpress that plugins are the most important thing so go to add new plugin and it is done by a plugin otherwise you have to do it technically by logging into your hosting control panel and lot many things but it this plugin made this facility just one click which is very the name of the plugin is you can type here wp wp backup and search for that plugin okay this is wp backup this is the plugin yeah, we have to install it now but before that let's see the facility which it's offer it take up the backup of, of your complete website including database you can schedule manage schedule that you are willing to take it daily or monthly or weekly basis there is a you ha you can download the uh, backup on your computer as well as you can automatically do the settings to upload it on dropbox there is one click facility just you need to click one and your complete database and website will be restored so it's super simple it's very simple so let us install it and see we'll do okay once it get installed you need to activate the plugin and after plugin is activated and now we have to go to here and go to settings and in the setting just you enable it click on yes and save if you have dropbox id and if you want to get your backup on dropbox as well then you can click here and connect to your dropbox it will be automatically when whenever backup will be generated it will be sent to the dropbox now let's go to setting and now go to, sorry go to where backup once you go to backup you have to click here settings and uh, select that backup you want backup of only ba uh, database or file or database or file or both i want both okay database as well as website uh, at least once weekly and maximum files 14 you can increase or decrease whatever you wish you can enter your email notification address that uh, backup has been sent or uh, created and if your backup file size is less than 10 mb it will be also attached to your email email address update it once it do the update just uh, get back and uh, you can see. oh it seems that setting has not been saved because it is still showing daily i think i have to <coughs> set it again go to the again setting uh, it is not saved actually select for both database and files do it weekly once and maximum number of click your email address and update it yeah now it is updated okay so now it will automatically create a backup each week and send it to your dropbox if you connect it from dropbox and it will also generate here you can download it on your computer so for example let's run now it is starting creating backup once it creates the backup depending upon 
the website size and uh, content it will take time it is showing the 62 mbs there when it's complete it will show here that the date and time of backup size and uh, other things which you want to download or restore whatever would be option here let's wait for that yeah, now the backup hasn't completed one backup 4th of may this is time size is 31 mb and uh, time this contains database as well as website files both so here if i would click on download button both will be downloaded to my system okay let me show you after it download complete and thereafter you need to restore your file okay for restoration of the file here is an option you can see restore if you have your website has minor issues uh, and problems you can click here restore directly and it will restore your website as well as database database just in one click okay don't delete it it will restore it in one click just one click everything will be okay but suppose if there is a major issue like like uh, some one have uh, misused or some bad guys has done some wrong thing with your website then you might need to restore it uh, with uh, your control panel hosting panel so for that purpose you need a filezilla software to upload this downloaded file okay so let me show you once it get complete downloaded okay now the download is complete let's see open the folder where it has been downloaded yeah it is downloaded right here view you can just cut it from here and put it somewhere else for your comfortability i would keep here create a new folder here and i'm pasting here this file this include complete backup including your all website pages and contents and your database file i will extract it here let's to show you just if it is getting extracted see now you can see that it has been completely extracted yeah it has been now completely extracted okay so just delete this file you don't need this chip one okay these all are your website content wp admin content and whatever um, extra files should be there mm, even sitemap and uh, uh, whatever else was there it will be here and this is your mysql database file this file you can see this is a sql file this is your database file so keep it separately okay keep it separate separately and now open filezilla enter the credentials of uh, your hosting control panel in, in filezilla and just select the database and restore it and after that uh, you can you have to select your you have to restore your website files uh, then again uh, select the location in your root folder or wherever you wish to upload it and uh, select all these files and to upload this will be shown in next video tutorial please watch the next for restoration okay thanks a lot for watching bye bye if you have any issue please uh, write in the comment box i will help you